Peace, peace, peace. Love and light, my star family. This is another article from Russia Today, Russia Times, U.S. News section. Storm U.S. border. They cannot stop all of us. With all the news focused on Area 51, actual break-ins just happened in Arizona. September 20th, 2019. Pictures and videos. Um, scores of migrants were detained this week in Arizona as they poured over the Mexico-U.S. border, according to U.S. Customs and Border Patrol CBP which released footage of 81-person caravan before it was stopped. CBP Arizona posted a clip on Thursday showing a crowd of migrants as they traversed the desert near the small hamlet of Sasebe. Here's a video of them right now. You see all the people trying to cross the border. I mean, you got to think there's cameras all over the place. They can pick up on heat signatures and thermal imaging and they, they can see you from miles away and they got flying um, drones and planes that fly over just about 24 7. um it's not clear which facility the people were bought to but with a record inflow of undocumented migrants detention centers near the border are running at a full capacity many were overcrowded i mean many with over with overcrowded and unsanitary conditions in june Acting CBP Commissioner John Sanders called the situation a full-blown emergency. Overwhelmed immigration facilities already have egregious safety violations, DHS. In May alone, nearly 133,000 people were apprehended near the border, with Mexico attempting to enter the country illegally. According to CBP, putting immense strain on holding centers, while the summer saw a monthly tally shrink the total of border Apprehension so far in 2019 sits at around 811,000, almost a million people, well above the sum of previous years. With all the eyes on the battle for the infamous Storm Area 51 event this week, where the first planned raid on Friday morning, Friday morning resulted in something of a flop, it seemed the American press may have overlooked quite a different raid unfolding along the U.S. southern border, which they, they always do. They want to distract us from a lot of what's more most important. The fact that this happened, 81 individuals tried to cross over into America. Um, it was a, definitely a flop. I mean, they could have tried other ways to get in, like actually trying to become a naturalized citizen of the United States instead of having to. Like one thing is, what did, what are they fleeing from that? It they literally had to bring her along. 81 people take 81 people just to get over to the across the border what are they running from that's something that i have to look into but what are they, what are they running from to the fact that every other day or every other week and month you got people who are getting caught trying to cross over into the border into the u.s border um this article is over but at the same time um the fact that a lot of these immigrants are being held in these detention centers or what you call facilities over either over here in, in America I mean why do they have them there when they could just easily be released back into their country I mean they're they're being held here for a reason so I mean what is that reason when they they could easily be just taken back over the border at the same time I mean if they're taken back over the border they might have another plan to escape so they, they have to be held. I guess they're what you consider PO, POWs or PWOs. You know, POWs where they're they're trapped. I mean, this is a war. And technically speaking, we're all prisoners of war. We've been captured. We've been put in this system. And we can't really do anything. I mean, but go with the system. But at the same time, I mean, this is all coming to an end anyway. And for the most part... um. Um, I'm going to end this video right here, this recording right here, and say, hey, try, try again. I mean, but if y'all know it's not going to work, why do y'all even attempt to try to get over here? But, hey, that's them. I'm going to end it right here with my star family. I love y'all. Peace, love, and light.